Hi folks, welcome back to Mad Fair Studios, Budicki here. So we will pick up where we left off on the last part. Kim and I are finally married! And finally living together on the farm! Yay! So happy! So we have the um, incantation to do to turn it to winter. <clears throat> which I want to try to get my crops in first before that happens. And then I'm not sure what other adventures await us in this episode. So hopefully things will start picking up the pace again like the last episode. So let's get into it. First off, go check our stuff. No, I don't want another cauldron. Okay, so I need... Oh, that's right. I need olive oil for the tanning solution. Okay. Everything. Oh, yes, that's right, because we got the mushrooms from the gloaming. Ah, Alright, let's craft it. And there it be. I need to know what incantations I have, so speed boost longer, summon small things, reverse time spell, speed time spell. Okay. So I need reverse time, speed time... That's what I want. And just in case. Oh, no. There's Kim. My dad sent me an email to ask how cold it was getting in Foghaven. <clears throat> I know he was trying to be nice, but F Foghaven, dude, really? <laughs> I love my Kim. So got new patterns. Make sure everybody in here is taken care of. Okay. Dear God, I need a bigger shed. Water some plants for me today? Uh, his name is Jack. I really do wish we had the option of actually naming our whirly gigs. Mm. 
still trying to figure out what the animal's like. I don't exactly know. Yes, no, maybe? Okay. Did my hands stop laying eggs? There should be eggs out here. Surely not. Alright, girls are attended to... Did they lay their eggs inside maybe? Nope. Walking slow is done. Quicken my feet and make me run. I'm gonna find the folks who are really out there in the woods, whether I'm a part of the neighborhood watch or not. I'm not letting Sophia or anyone else shoulder the blame. Oh goody, Thomas. Nope, just still the soybean seeds. Are you home, Mario? Good, you are home. Since the days are getting shorter, I had to add a lamp to the chicken coop. Otherwise, the hens don't realize it's morning and they should get out of bed. So we have new animals to unlock, however, I am still in my first year. So we have a llama. I know from the updates to the game that we have a llama, a pig, and duckling, and ducks. But I cannot unlock them yet because I am in my second, or I'm still in my first year. So we'll have to uh, remedy that. I think I have his favorite stuff.
Violet, this design is fabulous. You really think so, Sophia? Absolutely. In fact, I want to commission one of these dresses in my size. <laughs> what do you think, Tara? It's such a nice design. It will look great on you, Sophia. It certainly will. And I'll make sure it fits like a dream. Can I tell you a secret? The design was inspired by a vintage dress that belonged to my mom. Oh yes, I think I remember the one you're talking about. Gloria always looks so classic in it. I can't wear the real one. That's like admitting my mom's never coming back. But this design is my way of paying tribute. I think that's a lovely idea, Violet. I just need to get around to fixing my old sewing machine so I can actually make these. <laughs> What are you making? There are so many smells. Oh, some eggplant parmesan, hash browns, and a few beef turnovers from my mama's recipe book. Hello. <sighs> when I'm upset, I cook through it. Um. Yes, please. <gasps> oh, do we have a new book? Oh. Hello. I will happily take those indeed. I miss you, Grandma. So, Vanessa asked me to come in for a chat because Finn's reading skills are not where they should be. How do I tell her that I just don't have time right now? Or that he reads perfectly fine at home? I probably don't have time to hit Ravenwood Hollow.
What do you want? Hey, Otto. I didn't expect to see you out here. Wait, what are you picking? You usually ask uh, me to cover this stuff. Oh, I, I was, I was, um, well, the weather was so nice today and I, mm. all right, fine, fine. I'm picking flowers for my dad. My mom's birthday is coming up and dad hasn't been the same since she passed. The mountain pass was her favorite place. So I thought uh, maybe dad would like some blooms from up here. I thought you were embarrassed by your dad. I. He can't comment on that at this time. What I will say is that I admire his ability to express his emotions. I would rather not share my feelings like that. Because I'm the mayor, I mean. It, it wouldn't be professional. Hey, mayors have feelings too. Wouldn't it be better if they didn't, though? Well, I have enough for a small bouquet. I should be going. No time to waste. But first... Here's a sentiment that feels appropriately mayoral to share. I appreciate everything you've done for Fairhaven, Terra. Wow, Otto. You're welcome. He's already gone. Okay, Otto, that's really super sweet to do that for you, Dad. You have somewhat elevated yourself in my eyes a tiny bit. Just for that reason. Anything else to nab over here? Nope. Enjoying some relief from the heat, Giva? Why, yes, but it truly seemed to change overnight. It's like someone switched off a light. Truly a curious thing. I had nothing to do with it. Seen a demon. Mind that no one finds your sanctum. It'll be hard to explain that before Otto and his neighborhood watch. Have you prepared the winter ritual incantation? I have it, and I'm ready to change the seasons. Good. Then let us begin. Oh, no time like the present. I want to get all my crops Witches in, Witches but... of the Fairhaven Coven, well. take your places around the circle. Once again, we turn the wheel of the year. From which is new and which is old, we greet the coming of the cold. We call forth the spirits of quiet and reflection. We call on the candles flame, surrounded by darkness. We say goodbye to the bounty of the fall harvests. Welcome, Winter! It's snowing! I love snow! <laughs> A good sign it is, too. Means the island is in harmony with itself. I'd say I agree with you, Farseer, but uh... Belladonna's knickers, it's coming down hard now. Quick, everyone get home. I don't want to treat any of you for frostbite tomorrow. Cast any good incantation spells lately? Uh, no. Ugh, me either. I'm not very good at them. Potions, though. I'm a killer. Ah. 
I knew a witch once who transformed into a hawk she saw gliding majestically above her. The bird knew how to fly, but she didn't. It was a mess. Yeah. It may be said by some that the Farseer speaks in riddles, but that's only because so much of magic is unknowable, and what we do know is always changing. Ah, uh, winter means no moonflowers available. Well, at least I have plenty. Why not try a loaf fresh and hot out of the oven? That'll make you feel toasty. <laughs> She's anxious. Well, and surprisingly, my garden is still there. Okay. I really do wonder if this is Vanessa. Oh, that's not good. fanciness of it it reminds me of Vanessa unless it's auto in disguise I don't know morning Kim babe I am in over my head mrs. soft has given me the uh, honor of organizing the winter feast this year see every household contributes something and we all gather together for a feast on the shortest day of winter what a nice tradition. Sophia used to run things, but, well... Right. So, I'm making a roast with a shiitake mushroom sauce. I hear shiitake grow in the mine, but I don't do small enclosed spaces. Not at all. Uh, don't worry, I am on it. Thanks. Wait, do I have to bring something to the winter feast too? Come on, babe. It'll be fun. Hazel used to make roasted salmon every year. What if you tried that? Challenge accepted. I'm looking forward to sharing some salmon -y goodness with the whole town. Oh, if only everyone else in town had that enthusiasm. I hope Kai even remembers to bring something this year. Ooh, roast salmon. Okay, we must go check it out. Okay, uh, my game is glitching out and the audio is doing, or the, uh, yeah, the, uh, Audio is doing weird things. Oh, 
Oh, that's right. That's from the new book. Truffle duck eggs. Oh my god, we can have duck eggs. <gasps> yes. There it is. What do I need for roasted salmon? I just need the salmon. <laughs> okay. Which I will be buying. I am so not going to try to go fishing for that. <sighs> Find any shiitake yet? Yes, ah, uh, here they are. Oh, you're my hero. Seriously, there's just something about dark caves where, like, anything could be in there with you. Like bats or wolves. I hadn't actually thought about that, but I will now. So, thank you. <laughs> oh, always good to keep a lookout. <laughs> Thanks, Kim. Much appreciated, love. Aww. Ooh, yes, quite. Oh, I got a lot of dates! Finally! Yes. The forest's been calling my name. Would you like to join me for a picnic? Absolutely, babe. I love being able to enjoy the peace of the woods with you. Let's do this again soon. Oh, um, yeah, of course. I was happy to take the winter feast off of Sophia's plate. Oh, no pun intended. I don't know what Natalia and the rest of them thought would happen. You can't just single someone out like that. <laughs> All right, what's in the mailbox? Giva! Hmm. How am I supposed to know what kind of present Giva would like? I guess that means I would have to go find out. Oh, yeah. I lost my crops. Well, at least the... At least the olive tree is there, the lime tree is there, and the fruit trees are still here. Okay. Well, that's good. I love 40 already, goodness. No, I can't, I gotta feed the girls. Sorry girls, I didn't mean for it to be so late. Everybody's fed. Now it's time for me to get to bed before I end up getting sick and having to go see Amira and she's gonna yell at me. Which she's really good at I'm doing. I'm sleepy.
need something cool to wear. So I need black cloth, red leather. Thomas. Morning, Thomas. Morning. Got something for you. Happy holidays. Ugh. Oh, Thomas, this is so nice of you. Wait, sunflowers? Where did you get these this time of year? A friend built the greenhouse and sent me this. Parker could build you one too. You just need a glassworks in your tool shed first. Already Lena there. can sell you any off-season seeds you need. She gets some from time to time. Off-season crops fetch a higher price too. That's a great idea. I'll get started on it. Okay, so I have 21 glass. I have I need more iron and I need more wood, which I mean the iron is not a big deal. Oh <laughs> yes! Finally! Saw Juliet when I went to Lena's yesterday. She said Kim's really been helping out. I'm sorry we got off on the wrong foot. Their heart's in the right place. Oh, Jack, you're still watering, sweet pea. I shouldn't plant this just now because it isn't in season. No, but I can with the greenhouse, so. You lazy. It's because it's snowing out, isn't it? I need a whirly gig for the animal feeding. Girls, you haven't been milked for a couple of days. Mm. All right. Look at the pretty flowers, so pretty. Oh, good, the heather's still growing. So they are all closed Monday and Tuesday. Fabulous. Oh, 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 okay, that's right. I forgot about that. We'll get blueberries anymore either.
parsley's now available. Good. I found something. <gasps> A recipe! Ooh. Amira would like that. Okay, one more day. I'm all out of magic. I could drink a potion to recover some magic, or replenish the wellspring. That's right, I am out of magic. Duh. The daylight yawns and goes to bed, and now the moon comes out instead. What happened to our gate? Can't say. In all my years, I never thought I'd see something like this happen. Someone is trying to break into our circle. The Wraiths aren't the only ones drawn to the Wellspring's power. Our circle is still protected by the Glamour, but we need to find out who did this, and why. High Priestess, our offerings don't seem to balance the Wellspring for very long. I give my best flowers, but then it seems I must do so again a short while later. Huh. Something strange is afoot. We're not draining the Wellspring so much as all that. Right, okay. We must return to the Wellspring the gifts it has pushed through the Earth. But that will mean venturing deeper into the heart of the gloaming. Novice, it is time for you to improve your wand. Otherwise, you will not be able to pass the stronger challenges you may encounter in the gloaming. You will need Essence from the Hellebore, strongest of the Winter Flowers. 
a sapphire for the handle, and crushed pearl dust to strengthen it. But pearls may be hard to come by. This incantation will call stronger waves to wash upon our shores for a brief while. It may be of use. Ooh, I better find some way to keep Kai out of the water for a few days. Summoning a storm will be good practice. Weather magic strengthens your powers for changing the seasons. Once you've summoned the storm, speak to Zephyr. She can upgrade your wand for you. Alrighty. What kind of a witch will you be? A good witch? There are no good witches or bad witches. Only good or bad actions. Mind that no one finds your sanctum. It'll be hard to explain that before Otto and his neighborhood watch. I didn't realize the Bramble Gate could be broken down. I guess you can break anything if you're determined enough. Great news for us. Woohoo! <laughs> Winter Feast was my favorite part of this season. Now even that's ruined. Okay, folks, I think we're going to stop it there for now. So I will, we will pick up on the next one. I'll get everything ready on the back end for the greenhouse and for the, uh, the wand making and all that fun stuff. So interesting. I wonder who the masked one is. I don't think it's Otto. Of course. I think it's, I think it might be Vanessa. I can't think of who else it would possibly be that would have intentions like that. So curious to know so all right guys thanks for joining me and i will catch you back on the next episode of wildflowers so bye for now